Asset allocation is a very important concept. It's one main way to adjust the risk and return characteristics of your portfolio. Very simply, asset allocation describes how all of your money in your portfolio is divided into various different asset classes. For this introduction to asset allocation, we'll only take a look at two main asset classes to keep it simple, stocks and bonds, also known as equities and fixed income. In general, equities exhibit more risk than fixed income. They also offer higher possible returns on your invested money than fixed income. If your portfolio was made up entirely of stocks, this would be a 100% allocation to equities. This portfolio would be expected to be quite volatile, meaning that the value would fluctuate quite a bit. If you only invested in fixed income investments, then your portfolio would have a 100% allocation to fixed income, or bonds. The portfolio may not be very volatile at all, but at the same time, the potential return on your money invested would also be expected to be relatively low. Either of these two scenarios might be too extreme. One might be too risky, and one might not have enough return potential. But if we consider a portfolio that has an asset allocation of 50% stocks and 50% bonds, it might have a risk and return profile that is in between these two extremes. But because different investors have different goals time horizons, and tolerances for risk, asset allocations can be customizable. Maybe you have one investment account that is tied to a very long-term goal, like retirement. It's possible that your asset allocation is closer to 80% equity and 20% fixed income. Or maybe you have a shorter-term goal where you'll need your money within 10 years and you don't want to take on too much risk. You might have an asset allocation of 30% equity and 70% fixed income in this account. As you may have noticed, overall asset allocation is an important consideration in how a well-diversified portfolio can generally be expected to behave over time with respect to risk and return.